What if I told you there's a tower rising right now that makes the Burj Khalifa, the current world's tallest, to be old news? And here's the wild part. It's not just one. There's a global race happening with countries battling to claim the sky. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll see the heights of tomorrow's skyline. Okay, let's get real for a second. Think skyscrapers are just glass and steel? Well, think again, because they are weapons of ego, tools for countries to flex their power on the global stage. But here's the shocker. One in three skyscrapers gets canceled due to money problems, engineering nightmares, or straight-up political drama. And yet, right now, skyscrapers taller than the Empire State Building are under construction. How? Why? And what insane tech keeps them from collapsing? Ready to see the future? Let's go! North America's new giants. Let's start with the smallest giants, if you can call 1,154 feet small. In Toronto, the Sky Tower at Pinnacle One Yong is racing to become Canada's tallest building at 351.85 meters. When finished, its 106 floors will house offices, hotels, and apartments, all stacked higher than Toronto's CN Tower's observation deck. Next stop, New York City. The J.P. Morgan Chase headquarters at 270 Park Avenue is rising fast. At 1,388 feet or 423 meters, it'll be taller than the Empire State Building and 100% electric, powered by New York's hydroelectric dams. But that's just the warm-up. Planned nearby is Affirmation Tower at Hudson Yards. If approved, it'll hit 1,663 feet or 507 meters, with a design inspired by a twisting flame. Then there's 175 Park Avenue aiming for 1,585 feet, 483 meters. These towers aren't just tall, they're green, with solar glass facades and AI-driven energy systems. But North America's giants are just the opening act. Across the ocean, countries are building towers that laugh at the laws of physics. Asia's stealthy contenders. China once ruled the skyscraper game, but a 2020 ban on super talls over 500 meters shifted the action. Now, Southeast Asia is stepping up. In Kuala Lumpur, the Merdeka 118, already completed in 2023, stands at 678.9 meters, 2,227 feet, making it the world's second tallest building. But new projects are pushing higher, like Jakarta's planned signature tower could hit 638 meters, 2,093 feet. These towers face unique challenges. In typhoon-prone regions, engineers use aerodynamic shapes and tuned mass dampers, giant pendulums inside the building, to stop swaying. But even these pale next to the Middle East's ambition. What happens when money meets no limits? Let's start with the big one. The Jeddah Tower, formerly known as Kingdom Tower in Saudi Arabia, is set to become the tallest building in the world, surpassing the Burj Khalifa by over 170 meters, which has held the crown since 2010. This isn't just another tall building. This is the one that's set to break every record out there. When it's finished, Jeddah Tower will stand at a jaw-dropping 1,000 meters tall. That's 3,281 feet, nearly a full kilometer into the sky. The Jeddah Tower will have the world's highest observation deck. Its 157th floor observation deck will offer views of the Red Sea from 30 miles away, luxury apartments, a Four Seasons hotel, office spaces, and even room for 100,000 people. But here's where it gets even crazier. Construction on Jeddah Tower started back in 2013, but it hit a major pause in 2018 during a government crackdown. For years, the project was stuck, and people thought it might never be finished. But in January 2025, the project officially restarted with a new $1.92 billion contract and a plan to complete the building in just 42 months. That means by 2028, we could see the world's first kilometer-high skyscraper. Imagine standing at the top. You'd be above the clouds. But Jeddah isn't the only city reaching for the sky. The UAE isn't sitting still. Here comes the last but not least. Dubai Creek Tower is Dubai's boldest answer to the question. How high can a city reach before the world stops and stares? 
Rising from the heart of Dubai Creek Harbor, this tower is not just another building. It's a symbol of the city's relentless ambition to outdo itself and everyone else. Originally set to open in time for the 2020 World Expo, the project was frozen by the pandemic and global uncertainty. For years, the desert winds blew over a silent construction site, and the world wondered if Dubai's next wonder would ever materialize. But in 2023, Imar Properties, the powerhouse behind the Burj Khalifa, shocked the world by announcing a dramatic comeback. Not content with old plans, they launched a global design competition, summoning the world's top architects to dream even bigger. The result? A radical redesign, with the promise that Dubai Creek Tower will soar even higher than its legendary predecessor, the Burj Khalifa. The exact height is still a closely guarded top secret, but insiders estimate it will reach somewhere between 928 and 1,400 meters. That would make it not just the tallest building in Dubai, but the tallest man-made structure on the planet, potentially eclipsing even the under-construction Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. The developer has hinted that the final height will only be revealed at the grand opening to keep rivals guessing and the world in suspense. Dubai Creek Tower is more than a record breaker. It's a statement that Dubai will never stop reaching higher and that in the race for the sky, the finish line keeps moving. But building this high isn't easy. What are the challenges that come with reaching for the clouds? Here's the thing, building a skyscraper isn't just about stacking floors on top of each other. The higher you go, the more complicated everything gets. Wind becomes a massive problem. At 1,000 meters, the top of a tower can sway several meters in a storm. Engineers must design special shapes like the three-pedal base of Jeddah Tower to cut through the wind. They also use tuned mass dampers, giant weights inside the building, to keep those skyscrapers firm. Then there's the foundation. A building like Jeddah Tower needs a foundation that goes 100 meters deep, with concrete piles that can hold up the weight of a small mountain. And don't forget about elevators. Standard elevators can't go a kilometer straight up, so engineers are developing new cable materials and multi-level elevator systems, where you switch cars halfway up. Sustainability is another challenge. Skyscrapers use massive amounts of energy, so new towers are designed to be as green as possible. Like 270 Park Avenue in New York, it will use triple-pane glass, automatic solar shades, and AI-powered energy systems to cut down on power use by over 40% compared to similar buildings. Water recycling and natural ventilation are also becoming standard. The future of skyscrapers. So, let's wrap this up. With Jetta Tower back on track, we're about to see the world's first kilometer-high building. But don't expect the race to stop there. Plans are already being drawn for towers that could reach 1,200 meters or even higher. But here's the big question. How high can we really go? Some experts think we could build towers up to 2 kilometers tall with current technology, though the costs would be astronomical. Others dream of vertical cities. Entire communities stacked in a single tower, with parks, schools, and shops all inside. So, what do you think? Are these mega towers the future of cities, or are we reaching too far? Would you want to live in a building that touches the sky? Don't miss the next video. Hit that subscribe button and join the journey.